Hey Sammy fam, today we are making an Alfredo sauce pizza because I have old Alfredo sauce that I need to get rid of and this is what I came up with. So say hello to some ragu. We have this laying around because mm, it's cheap, it's good, and sometimes Sammy girl and I like something that we call just like ghetto alfredo where i take um like a gluten gluten free a gluten free noodle because sometimes gluten seems to upset her stomach sometimes it's hard to say but we get a gluten free noodle and just use some of this and we'll have simple super quick alfredo salsa dinner it's nothing fancy but you know sometimes you just want that cheap and easy but we got some leftover leftover sauce here so we're gonna make a pizza with it I actually started this morning thinking I was going to make a red sauce, pepperoni, hot honey pizza, make it a little spicy. But when I went down to the grocery store a mile away, I had to walk down there that has this uh, grocery store that has a good pepperoni that's like pepperoni in a stick that's, you know, that not, what, circumference, you know, and you can cut it as thick as you want it because I like to get Pepperoni I can cut myself so I can cut it real thick. I love thick pepperoni and the way it curls up into little cups on your pizza. But that grocery store, I don't know if it was opening late or something, but there was a huge line out the door and I was like, do, do they have new rules about how many people can go in the store and stuff? And I didn't want to deal with it. So I came back home to the grocery store down the block and they don't have good pepperoni. But I was like, you know what? Instead of using the red sauce I have already made, I will use this Alfredo I have in the fridge and we'll come up with toppings that go well with that, that I can get in the local grocery. And those toppings happen to be uh, bacon and leek. I love bacon and leek together, that subtle oniony flavor. I cooked a little garlic into this too. You know, you just cook this by cooking the bacon. You don't want to get it too crispy. You throw in the leeks near the end. Some of the green tops of the leeks as well chopped up. They'll soften up real nice. I threw in some white pepper. Don't need to add any salt because the bacon, bacon provides all that for you. Ooh, a little oily here. Spread that closer to the edge. But these are just all flavors that go well together. Pepper, bacon, onion, garlic, and with the cream, just decadent. And this is a just store-bought like frozen ball of dough that I thawed out and let rise today and then I hand stretched it threw it in the oven for about five minutes at 550 degrees on a preheated pizza stone this pizza stone I've been heating up it like 350 degrees for the past two hours so the stone's nice and hot so it'll give you a nice crispy crispy bottom on here especially once we throw it back in for another 10 minutes or so maybe a little less for our cheese we have a smoked mozzarella mixed with just like a, a cheap american parmesan not, not a real parmigiano still good and a little bit of a uh, truffle pecorino that i had left over so I'm just, you know some of this is just trying to clear out the fridge trying to use my ingredients efficiently especially right now when it is Harder to get ingredients. There we go. And I wanted to use that Pecorino Romano on something for a video because Sammy Girl's not a big fan and I don't really like it on its own because it's a little bit too, or the, the truffle Pecorino is a little bit too earthy if it's on its lonesome. It needs to be paired with other things to kind of downgrade and manage and balance the truffleness cheese on top is going to hold all these ingredients together we're going to hit it with a little bit more of this garlic powder here and i like a little crushed red pepper on there it's just both for color and for heat you know i often forget that we eat with our eyes but the red and the green that's gonna i think show up more once the cheese melts a lot of fun different colors and you think this might be like, why are you adding red pepper flakes and then ground black pepper? They're different flavors. Ground black pepper, I don't really think of as spicy. It's just a different flavor that I think will 
go with the bacon very well, balance the saltiness. Okay, so I need to put this back in the oven for another five to 10 minutes. I'll just check on it, make sure that once the edges start to get nice and brown. In fact, I like, I'm gonna paint some more sauce on the edges here. This will cook into the dough real nicely and it'll keep them from burning. Happy little trees. Happy little Alfredo. Yeah. Okay, yeah, into the oven and I'll be right back. Hey, Sammy fam, and we're back with the finished pizza here. Nice crispy crust. It only actually took five minutes, um, I think in part because I preheated the oven so long and got that stone so nice and hot that it really crisped up the crust fast. So it's the most important part of baking a pizza at home. Of course, because we do not have, you know, thousand degree ovens, obviously, in a non-commercial environment here. Quick reminder, guys, I'm going to take some gummies, some vitamin gummies. A lot of us are not getting outside that much these days. Um, you may not be producing as much vitamin D as you need. Mm. So make sure you get your vitamin D. Don't want to get rickets. Don't want to get depression. And I'm sure for some people, the other type of vitamin D can probably help prevent depression too. So I hope you are sheltering in place with someone you love, or at least lust. I think this is cool enough to try now. Mm. <laughs> that cheese mixture look, works so nicely. Like, look at how you can tell like the mozzarella on top, the melty truffle cheese. Oh, the salty parmesan. And the the fresh like cracked br gr brown pepper, black pepper, the fresh cracked black pepper on top sets off the cheese so much. It really brings out the flavor of the cheese, balances the bacon and the onion flavor nicely and the garlic. I'm so glad I thought to do that. It was kind of a last minute addition, but sometimes those little last minute tricks, small amounts of a certain ingredient can make all the difference to a dish. Still hot. One of my favorite, like, kind of secret ingredients that um, you don't really think about that much, and a lot of recipes don't have it, is when you're making chocolate chip cookies. Add just a touch of cinnamon. Like, you're not trying to make them into cinnamon chocolate chip cookies, but it's a tiny amount. Oh my god, it sets the cookies off. Try it, please. Now I can't take credit for that. That's actually something my wife discovered. She's become an expert at baking chocolate chip cookies. They're so good. And she has a cooking time down so well. Like they look underdone when you pull them out, but then they firm up a little bit and they just stay chewy and moist forever. They have the perfect amount of rise. They don't flatten out too much. Like if your cookies flatten out too much, you know what that means? Too much butter. Or you didn't chill the dough long enough. She chills the dough for a long time. It's so amazing. My wife's chocolate chip cookie is probably my favorite food to eat. I love my wife's cookie. But this is extremely good. I was worried it's gonna to be too salty. It is not. It's not, friends. And oh my god, a creamy avocado sauce. I'm just mixing up all my words today. Maybe I'm having a stroke. Oh no, because I can't. You can't. You don't want to go to the hospital right now. No, I can't do that. But the Alfredo sauce on here, creamy Alfredo sauce with the bacon. Oh. 
heaven is just heaven. Mm. Sweet Jesus Christ, thank you for this blessing upon my mouth. You came into my mouth and you brought me so much happiness and so much joy and so much love. I just want to share that with the community. Mm. And share that joy back with you. So that you in turn can share the delicious love of Jesus with others in your own life. Mm. Now, as long as we've been talking a little bit about secret recipes and like the power of individual ingredients to make a difference, oh, I'll get mad metaphorical right now. Let me know in the comments. I want to know what is your like secret little trick, little secret small ingredient that makes all the difference in a dish because I will compile that and steal all your ideas in a text document and then share it later when I make that dish on a video. Mm. Um. Guys, I was so ready. I had a little bowl. I had the extra sauce here. I was going to pour this sauce out and dip it in there. And, I just, and then I was not going to do that because I was like, no, the pizza's perfect. But hey, the crust, actually. You could dip the crust in there. So we're just flip-flopping back and forth. So... This part of the pizza down does not need to be dipped, but the crust, I mean, it doesn't need to be dipped. It's very good. It's very chewy and light, but b dipping it. Oh, fun. That's good. Yeah. We can take the extra calories. Nothing wrong with putting on a few quarantine pounds. If there ever was a time to feel like you had the license to do that right now and Christmas. Yeah. There's enough other stress in your life. Let yourself have a little fun. Because as long as we're going to be kept down by the man for the rest of our lives, might as well celebrate what freedom we have to dip the crust of our pizza into Alfredo sauce. Because that's about all that the oligarchs are going to allow us, I guess. We're certainly not going to get healthcare in America. <laughs> All right, moving on. Can't obsess over what will never be. These white people are too greedy. I've been trying to fight packing on the pound so a little bit, just a little bit. Not stressing over it, but I've really been hitting my weight loss, not weight loss, weight lifting class hard on um, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Actually, the class I do is like very forearm heavy. It's lots of like lifting weights out to your sides and out front, which, you know, think of how, you know, a lever, a lever works, putting that weight all the way out there. It makes it feel really heavy. It's really hard, but it feels good to get through it. Um, but I've been, since it's so far I'm heavy, I add in like later in the day or whatever. I just do a whole bunch of reps of uh, just curls with a higher amount of Weight, you know, I have to like adjustable, adjustable free weights where you can like latch in different, you know, weight sizes. And I've been hitting my ab workouts hard too, but you know, I have a little bit of a belly, so it's hard to tell in terms of appearance what that's been doing for me. Of course, it's a little frustrating that I can't be outside as much as I would like. 
You know, I live in New York City in a two-room apartment, no yard. If I want to go outside, it's early in the mornings when there aren't very many people out, so I can stay socially distanced and, you know, try to walk 10 miles, which is down from, like, the 20 miles I was doing before all this. But since I'm walking less, I usually come back and I do a spin class just on YouTube. You know, I just set the bike in front of the TV. And so that helps some, I think, overall burning less calories. But it's good to have that, like, high-intensity cardio workout on the bike. Uh, it's good for your cardiovascular health to get your heart rate up that high. I would love for after this for, like, my blood pressure to be lower for my resting heart rate to be lower, that would be great. I say as I'm eating all the bacon and cheese. But again, now is the time to indulge a little bit and not worry too much. As long as you can do it semi-healthily. Oh, like this pizza is so beautiful. It's like my Sistine Chapel. Mm. That perfect golden brown on the bottom. I'm really hungry today. Maybe it's because I just finished spin class right before this. I gave myself like a 20 minute break to sit down because my legs were just wobbling like a newborn fawn stumbling out of the womb. Now I'm recording this on the Friday before Easter. And if you guys have watched me, you know that the only religion I celebrate is the, the love of Jesus Christ, who accepts all people. So Easter isn't a big holiday for me. But it's fun to acknowledge it in some way, just as a, a spring holiday. But I don't know if we're going to make any kind of special meal. In the past, I've made a... Uh, a lox breakfast pizza with like, it was actually pastrami seasoned lox, which you guys know is salmon. On a pizza with like cream cheese or Neufchatel or something like that. And then I remember, I think there was everything bagel seasoning maybe on there. And maybe some chopped dill. It was two years ago, so it's hard to remember. But that's what I think would be good now. That was a good pizza. Lox on pizza is really good, guys. And for breakfast, we had it with champagne. You know, we made mimosas. And there's a video of this of me and Sammy Girl having it. I look way different. It's crazy. You can go find it if you want. Just like type in Easter on my page. You'll also find all my weird Easter Bunny videos too. Mm. Okay, I think I'm going to save these last three because I would like Sammy to be able to have some if she wants. And later tonight when I get hungry again, then I have pizza. Mm. Ooh, got a couple little spicy bites thanks to the red pepper. I love a little spice. Man down. Well, let me know. This is probably going to publish after Easter, of course. But let me know what you guys did in the comments. Did you do family group chat, a video conference? Did you make yourself? Make yourself and your lover a special meal? Maybe do something with your roommates?
got to savor these last few bites. The heat of the red pepper is so good. I don't know, weirdly, this did not make me thirsty at all. I had refrigerated water sitting off to the side. Ready to go. Never needed it. I guess it's less salty than I thought. Maybe I accidentally bought low sodium bacon, which is good. Doesn't taste bad, tastes great. Oh, yes, thanks for watching. Love you all. Stay safe and stay sane.